Guys, welcome back. A little bit more advertising for you today. You remember that last video I made about the quick lift? I'm not sure I want that one now. I really want this one. It's so much better. So yeah, let's have a look. Welcome back to equipmentforgarages.com. Today I would like to talk to you about one of our best sellers. It's a three-ton hydraulic scissor lift. It's proven very popular with workshops, tire shops, body shops, detailers, car wrappers, car enthusiasts. This scissor lift is mobile, so it can be easily moved around. It can be stowed out of the way when not in use or simply left in place and just be driven over. As I mentioned before, this is three ton lifting capacity. Maximum lifting height is one meter and the minimum is 110 mil. But we also sell optional uh, ramps to help with low rise vehicles. Overall width of the lift is 1.7 meters. Platform length it ranges between 1400 and 1900 millimeters. We have those adjustable ramps on each side that can be extended if your wheelbase is longer than that. Space between the platforms is 700 mil. Also, it's worth mentioning that lifting to a full height, it takes about 60 seconds. The lift has an advanced fulcrum design scissor, so you can lift from a very low height. Some lifts actually need to travel more than 10 centimeters before they can start lifting a car. On some really low cars with low seals, this is not possible. In order to maneuver this scissor lift, it has a pair of wheels that attach to the frame of the lift itself. One thing to remember, and it's very important, in order to lift a vehicle, you must remove those wheels. Those wheels are only for maneuvering your lift. If you try and raise a vehicle with those wheels still attached, this will damage the wheels, the bracket, and the frame of the lift itself. They are not suitable for lifting cars. Let me show you how to remove them. It's very, very easy. So now we need to raise it up for the wheels to get off the ground so we can remove them. Now removing the wheels is very, very simple. They simply slide out like this. And to put them back on, over the bar, slide it over, and you're ready to go. Maneuvering this lift is very easy. You attach the little jack to the wheels, then you lift, and this can be moved back and forth. Assembling this hydraulic scissor lift is very simple. You have two hydraulic hoses going from the lift itself to a distribution block and one single line going to the control unit. Also, we have three electrical lines. Two of them control the electromagnets and one of them is a sensor. This scissor lift has eight locking positions with a twin bar lock that is controlled by an electromagnet, which is 24 volts, so there is no need to attach any external air supplies. Now, let me take you over to a control panel and show you how it operates. This is the control panel. Inside, there is a motor and an oil tank. This tank takes 10 liters of oil. It's SC32, and this can be purchased separately from our shop. It's also very portable. It has wheels at the bottom, so it can be moved around. Now let's have a look inside the panel with a timer. They're factory preset, but you might need to adjust them from time to time. Before operating the scissor lift, please, please make sure you read the instruction manual printed on top of the control unit. It's very, very simple. First, we need to switch on the power, then the light goes green for the power indication button. Then you have three buttons. One of them is lock, down, and up. In order to raise the lift up, you clearly press the button up. Down is down, so let's lower the lift down first. It's preset for two second timer for the lowering function. Basically what it does, when you press the down button, it raises the lift for the preset time, which is two seconds. 
to disengage the locking mechanism before it can actually lower. As soon as you release, electromagnet engages and then you press lock button in order for it to lower down onto one of the stops. That's it. Now it's ready to be worked on whenever the car is on top. As standard, the scissor lift comes with four rubber blocks. They are designed to go under your vehicle so you don't damage your seals. But if you feel that the rubber blocks is not enough or not sufficient, we have an optional extra. They're full length polymer blocks. They, they go full length under your car and they will 100% protect your seal and undercarriage of your vehicle. And as I mentioned before, for really low cars, we have those optional recycled rubber mats that go in front of your lift to make low vehicles a lot easier to drive over the lift itself without actually bottoming out. So now we are ready to lift a vehicle. Once the vehicle is on the lift, position your rubber blocks under your jacking points. And we're ready to lift it. Press up. As I mentioned before, maximum height is one meter. It's definitely plenty of space to do anything you can possibly imagine under the car, like the exhaust or some running gear. The wheels are at your chest height, so it's nice and easy to maneuver. The car is extremely solid on the lift, so it's definitely not going anywhere. After you've completed work on your car, lowering is just as easy as raising this thing up. All you have to do is you press the down button. It will raise for about two seconds, disengage the locking mechanism, and it will start going down. Now that you know everything about this lift, why not go to equipmentforgarages.com and order yours now? You've seen how quick and easy it is to operate. And just to recap, lifting capacity is three tons. Maximum height is one meter. Minimum height is 110 mil. All the optional accessories and extras can be seen on our website. And thank you very much for watching this video. And I do hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more updates and new product features. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. It easily moved around. It can be <laughs> left in place and used. <sighs> the overall height of the lift when at maximum.
easily moved around. It can be stowed out of the way. Lift. The, the maximum... is 110 mil, but we also have uh, but we also have three tons. The maximum lifting height is 1.1 meters. What? No, it's one meter. Is it? It's one meter. Assembling this hydraulic scissor lift is very... Assembling this scissor... Assembling this... Uh, assembling this hydraulic lift, There's an eight stop locking slider. No, locking, locking. Controlled by a twin bar locking mechanism. That is controlled by... Uh, bah. Eight locking positions. That is con Here's the control panel. This is where... This is the control panel. This is where there is a motor with uh, oil... So this is the control panel that comes with a scissor lift. This is basically where you have the motor and a tank for the oil and a couple of buttons to... So this is the control panel. So this is the control panel. This is base this is where So this is the control panel. Inside there is a motor and an oil um This is the control panel. Inside there is a um The lift the lift has an advanced fulcrum designed scissors. The lift has an advanced fulcrum designed. The lift has an advanced fulcrum designed. Please remember to read them. Twenty minutes later. So now that you know everything about the scissor lift, I advise you. Uh, now that you know everything about the scissor lift. Uh, now that you know everything about the scissor lift, why not go to equipment? Blah, blah, blah.